This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, in this video, we're going to be going over Red Guardian. Now, I want to explain that this is only a first look, meaning you're going to get my first impressions of this champion. We're not going to go in-depth about his abilities or anything like that, but hopefully I will show you enough for you to make a decision whether you want to go for this champion in the upcoming arena or not. Uh, that's why he's given to me so that I can give you guys a look at him before he actually enters the contest and he will be removed from my account um, I think in a in a day or two but definitely before the actual arena before he's in the game alright so first we're gonna just take a look here at his attributes and this is a rank 3 sig 200 champion um, we'll look over here so his crit rate is a uh, pretty decent that's a pretty nice crit rate there crit damage is pretty good uh, armor rating decent but he has some other things uh, where that armor is concerned and block proficiency same thing normally you want someone with a block proficiency you know as high as you can get it uh, this is already pretty high okay it's, it's fairly decent but he also has some mechanics and his abilities that will increase his block proficiency and reduce the amount of damage that he takes uh, so just bear that in mind you saw the tags and uh, everything there and now we'll look at the synergies now when I'm looking at synergies I also look at who they have a synergy with not just the synergy so like this synergy here first one family reunion is with the new black widow but I don't know how she is. I don't know how good she is. She seems okay. Um, will she be someone that you want to bring on your team? That's the question. If you have a synergy with someone that you don't want on your team anyway, then that synergy becomes less useful. All right, next synergy is with Sabretooth. Uh, I'm going just over that. Uh, you can read this on your own to see what uh, the synergy provides but I like to focus on who. Now, this one here, okay, with Omega Red. Omega Red is a beast of a champion, so I like that synergy already because I can see myself making a team with Omega Red and adding in Red Guardian wouldn't be too difficult, okay? So that's kind of where I'm thinking. You've got this synergy here, Eastern Blockers, but look who you have. Are you going to bring any of those on your team? If the synergy is worth it to you, uh, I'm looking at that synergy. And at this point in time, I probably would not bring any of them just for that synergy. But we may discover uh, more as time goes on. And then this final one has Colossus, who just got a revamp, who I took to rank five because he's that good. So... I could see myself building a team with uh, Colossus, with Omega Red, and with Red Guardian. And then, of course, Omega Red has some uh, synergies as well with others. Namely, he also has one with Colossus. So I could see a team, a pretty strong team, uh, formed with those three. All right? Now... Let's take a look here at his abilities. Uh, again, we're not going to go too in detail. Uh, I'll save that for when I actually have the champion, maybe rank him up. Uh, we'll see uh, a little bit more in detail what this champion can do. All right, so we've got enhanced combat durability. All right, now his shield has these durability charges. The SIG ability increases the max that you can have on that shield. Whether that's useful or not, we'll see a little bit further on. All right, well-timed blocks have a 
100% chance to prevent durability loss, okay? So that means that you're gonna be able to maintain your durability as long as you do a well-timed block, all right? Um, trauma, slow, and vulnerability, we'll talk about those, debuffs last uh, longer, okay? Uh, and remember, this is a SIG 200. Now, if you read the well-timed blocks, that should give you an idea because if well-timed blocks have a 100% chance to prevent durability loss, then what does regular blocking do to durability? Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute here. So first thing here, uh, Red Guardian can't gain buffs normally. When he would gain a, uh, gain a buff, uh, he gets plus one durability for his shield, okay? Um, starts each fight with nine durability, all right? And can stack up to a max of 10. And I'm assuming the signature ability adds that, uh, adds five, a max of five to that, so that he can, at SIG 200, have a max of 15. I believe that's right. But look at this. Each blocked hit removes one durability. So you're going to have to play in a certain way to avoid losing those durability. And you're going to want to keep your durability on your shield. Uh, it gives you some benefits, and we'll talk about that. So here, next, very next one, each stack of durability increases perfect block chance. Okay? Perfect block, if in case you didn't know, reduces incoming damage to zero. All right? <clears throat> While the shield is intact, Red Guardian can block heavy and unblockable attacks. If you watched my video uh, on Uncollected, I went in with Ghost and I did the normal, you know, uh, special two and he blocked it. Okay, he can do that. All right, now when you do block that heavy or unblockable, it removes all your durability charges, but that's a fair trade-off because normally a heavy would wreck you uh, and an unblockable attack would probably wreck you as well, okay? But of course, nothing stops you from evading those attacks if they are easily evadable. When reaching zero durability, the shield is fractured, entering cooldown for eight seconds. Now, one of the synergies uh gives you um what is it a fury indefinite fury uh when the shield is fractured okay um this cooldown increases by 300 percent each time fracture occurs so the more fractures the longer it's going to take for it to come back that's good when you're fighting against him if it's going to be a longer fight bad if you're fighting and you tend to lose your durability charges a lot. All right, when the cooldown ends, the shield is repaired at seven durability. Now, on Fracture, uh, shards burst onto the opponent, inflicting a stun. Again, if you saw the uncollected, this is what happens. Uh, and I am going to release a video, How to Fight Red Guardian. And we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, also, it inflicts a trauma debuff for three seconds. Trauma causes each hit to deal an additional 70% of damage recently dealt as burst physical damage. Max of uh, three stacks. So what you want to do when you do get a fracture is go ham. You got to go quick. All right. Now, his heavy attacks... If you watched on Uncollected, that heavy attack one-shot me. It was ugly. His heavy attack can do a lot of damage, okay? And here's why. He gains attack rating for each unique debuff on the opponent. It also refreshes all sh uh, slow, vulnerability, and trauma debuffs. So say you have a slow on your opponent, you can just keep hitting them with heavy attacks and each time, and we'll see that in a minute when we look at the specials, uh, it'll just refresh it to whatever um, duration that it normally is. So special attack one, 
that's where you inflict the debuff, the slow debuff, and it lasts for 12 seconds. So if you wait until, say, three seconds, hit him with a heavy, back to 12 seconds again, okay? Um, and that slow debuff, just like all the slow debuffs, reduces the ability accuracy of your opponent's unstoppable and evade by 100%. Now, I want to uh, have a mention about that. Uh, also, opponents with a natural class advantage cannot be slowed. But you may wonder why it reduces the ability accuracy by 100%. Why not just say it shuts it down? That's because of how Kabam calculates things. It does reduce it by 100%. So if there's nothing else increasing their ability accuracy percentage, you're fine. It'll shut it down. They'll never run it. Um, never fire off their unstoppable, never evade. But what if they're on a node that gives them 50% more ability accuracy? Well, now they have 150%. This reduces it by 100%. So you're going to have a 50% chance for them to still trigger slow um, their evade or their unstoppable. All right, that's my understanding. Someone leave a comment below. Let me know if that is indeed correct. All right. Now, while the opponent is suffering from slow, Red Guardian's power rate is increased by 25%. So not only does he shut them down, but he's gaining power a little bit faster. All right, special two uh, on activation. If the shield was intact, so it wasn't fractured, he's going to gain more attack throughout that special uh, if that attack strikes the opponent um, the shield does get fractured and you lose all your durability but for each stack of durability you're going to gain attack rating for each hit of that attack okay and finally special three if the shield is active its durability is set to max Okay, and if it's fractured, then the cooldown ends immediately, so it's repaired and all of that. Especially if the fight has gone on for a while, that could be useful. All right, you have a hundred percent chance to inflict a stun uh, for almost two seconds, almost, but that's long enough for you to get that hit in. As long as you can hit him once, you can hit him for the rest of the time, as long as the game is working the way it should. All right, and it also inflicts a non-stacking vulnerability. We haven't mentioned vulnerability before. Here it is. So the special three puts it on them for 20 seconds. And when attacking a vulnerable opponent, uh, increase critical damage rating by a certain amount and decrease their block proficiency by 50%. That reminds me of Invisible Woman. She also has that vul inv uh, vulnerability. And I don't know how useful all of this is going to be. It looks good on paper. And of course, we fought Red Guardian and gotten wrecked by him, but he was also inflated by the node. So we're going to take a little spin and see what he's about. Let's look at, uh, uh, let's look at going into Realm of Legends and fighting Winter Soldier. All right, we're back. And as you can see, I'm going in there with no synergies active. It's just Red Guardian. Now, I'm going to show off each of his specials, his heavy attack, so you can see the animations. And we're not going to try to uh, figure out the best rotation for him or anything like that. All right. So keep in mind, this is the first time I'm using him. And we don't know how to use him to his fullest. All right, there was his special uh, one. All right, we're going to keep going here. Let's get that heavy in. Boom. All right. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Takes some good damage, though, doesn't he? But you can see his uh, shield is about to be fractured. All right, let's see. There we go. Shield is fractured. All right. We'll come back eventually, and we'll hit him with this uh, special two. All right. 
Let's hit him with that special two. Come on. Come on. There we go. Boom. And he was stunned, if you saw that. All right. Now we're going to build up to a special three. We'll take a look at that animation. Okay. <coughs> mm, excuse me, guys. All right. Here we go. Special three. Okay, not too bad. And there's the guaranteed stun for 1.9 seconds. Okay, not too bad. All right, so I got 12 durability. Fire that special one off. There we go. All right, come on. I tried to evade a little bit of it here. All right. Let's see if we can hit him with that special two again. We got nine durability. Boom. Okay. His damage is not too terribly bad. Uh, he doesn't have any immunities, so he's not suicide friendly. He does seem to need his specials, but that's my first impression of him so far. Um, he seems decent, but again, I don't know how best to use him, but he seems decent. Let's get another special three in. Okay. Here we go. That just looks painful. <laughs> okay. I think you guys have seen enough here. <clears throat> you see that perfect block? So he, he's pretty tanky. Boom. Let me try something. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, that's right. That's with a synergy. I think uh, <clears throat> he gains, uh, I think, unstoppable for a little bit while he's charging his heavy. <laughs> Reminds me of Kingpin. All right. We're not going to do a full fight. Um, I've shown you guys his animations, and uh, you can see uh, I'm running suicides. So bear that in mind as you're looking at the uh, damage that he's doing here. But I'm I'm eager to see what others think about him uh, that have had more time to play around with him. Keep in mind my first impressions are just that, first impressions. Uh, Human Torch. My first impression of Human Torch was not good. He did not impress me. He didn't impress a lot of people. But then Legacy was like, hey, I think you guys missed his true power. He started making a lot of videos. And suddenly, people like him. We see his true power now. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Uh, tell me what you think about Red Guardian. Uh, at this point here, he seems okay. I don't know what all the uses will be for him. Uh, like I said, I'm eager to find out um, how people are using him. Uh, I have heard that when you stack those durabilities or the vulnerabilities, uh, he is capable of some crazy good damage. Okay, so bear that in mind. I'm not using him to his fullest potential here. I don't even know what that is. 
This is just to give you guys a preview of the champion. All right. So take care. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.